topics. Okay? So, James chapter 1, i-share ko sa screen. Uh, please wait for it, no? Okay. James chapter 1. Uh, okay. James chapter 1. There. Okay. Yan. So, dito lang tayo sa verse 12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love Him. So, may the Lord bless our meditation on His Word. Uh, itong ating pinag-aaralan ay tungkol sa Blessed Endurance. That's the title of our devotional for today. Blessed Endurance. And this verse is very applicable to our situation right now because of all the trials that we have gone through for the past two years especially. Nagkaroon tayo ng uh, pandemic na talagang uh, marami ang nawala. Ano? Marami ang talagang naapektuhan. Uh, yung problema natin is not only about uh, uh, what is this about economics and finan- uh, financial problems but especially yung health no and ang ang lives na nawawala dahil nga sa pandemic but uh, through it all i believe and many of you all of you probably will agree na ginamit din ito ng Panginoon so that we will become closer to him lalo tayong napalapit sa kanya and ang gustong ituro ng bersikulong ito this verse okay Uh, is teaching us that uh, in spite of the trials that we are facing, let's remain strong. Let's learn how to bear up, how to endure, no? how to be steadfast. Oh. Th- those are the words, steadfast under trial. Okay? And kasi if you do that, you will be blessed. And I will have more to say about that in a little while. Pero I only have three things to share, no? Very, very short, very simple. I'd uh, like to share. Uh, number one, Christians are not exempt from trials. Nasabi ko na yan noon, so medyo review na lang ito. In a previous Bible study, I talk about that. But uh, I would like to repeat that today. Christians are not exempt from trials. Number two, Christians are called to endure. And number three, number three, Christians who endure are blessed. Ulitin ko lang, no? Para madaling tandaan. Christians are not exempt from trials. Christians are called to endure. Tapos, Christians who endure are blessed. Ngayon, many people think that just because natanggap mo na si Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, They think that you are now exempted from sorrows, from sufferings, but that is not true. No, that is not true. Listen to what Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 14 says, okay? Babasahin ko ha, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 14. Yan, nasa screen. There is a vanity that takes place on earth, okay? That Okay, that there are righteous people to whom it happens according to the deeds of the wicked. And there are wicked people to whom it happens according to the deeds of the righteous. I said that this, is all, this also is vanity. Yan ang reality dito sa mundo, no? Na just because you are righteous, it does not mean that you are exempt from the things that happen to all kinds of people, no? So, whether you're a Christian or not a Christian, whether you are righteous or not righteous, the fact is, dahil nabubuhay tayo dito sa mundo na ito, we will experience trials, tribulations, sufferings, and sorrow. Okay? So, we are not exempt from trials. Tapos, di ba, sabi ni, ni Jesus Christ sa John 16 verse 33, if you remember, in this world, you will have tribulation. So, yun ang first point natin. Let us get rid of the misconception that just because you're obedient to God, just because you are faithful, you are exempt. We are not exempt. Okay? We are not exempt from suffering. 
Ang Panginoon, of course, He protects us. He loves us and He will do what is best for us. Pero alam mo, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. For reasons of His own, and this is one of the reasons, itong binabasa natin, itong pinag-aaralan natin ngayon, for reasons which are higher than our comfort, He allows trials to come into our life. That is why Christians are not exempted. So, number one, Christians are not exempt from trials. Number two, Christians are called to endure. So, ibig sabihin, you must remain steadfast. If you experience trial, do not give up. Do not be discouraged. Do not be depressed. It's part of our calling. No? It's part of our... Kasi logical lang naman ito eh. If everyone will experience suffering sooner or later, please listen to this carefully, if everyone will experience suffering and trial sooner or later, then it follows that Christians should be prepared. Di po ba? Dapat handag mo tayo na pag dumating ito, we know how to handle it. And the Lord has said, this is how you should handle it. You should remain steadfast. Don't let it drive you away from the Lord. Kasi yun talaga ang number one problem eh. If a Christian experiences trial, sometimes he is tempted to lose faith in God. He does not remain steadfast. Natatandaan ko po, I remember a story about a friend of mine. Uh, siya ay isang, although hindi naman siya ordained, pero siya ay faithful uh, pastor sa hasyenda, sa sugar hasyenda dito sa Negros. Uh, he, he got married late na po. He got married at the age of 40. And then he had a child. And then the child died in, uh, in infancy. Talagang he was so hurt by this trial, he did not know how to, how to handle it. Ang ginawa niya, tumalikod siya sa Panginoon. And for two years daw, hindi siya nag-preach. Hindi, hindi na siya pumupunta sa hasyenda para mag- What is this? Para mag-preach ng Word of God. He did not remain steadfast under trial. By the grace of God, he was able to repent and to come back. But that is what the Lord is trying to avoid. no? That, that is what the Lord is trying to get us not to do. Instead, we should remain steadfast under trial. Kasi it's really part of our calling. It's something that we have to be prepared for. Ito yung sabi ni 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21. Okay, I will show it on the screen para mabasa po natin ha. For to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. Kung ang Panginoon nga suffered. Oh, ang Panginoon nga he suffered. Siya ay dumanas ng kahirapan. How, do you, how can you say that you are exempted? So, you should be ready, really, to, to remain steadfast under trial, to bear up and to endure affliction. Besides, binigyan naman pa tayo ng Panginoon ng kanyang strength, ng kanyang resources, in order to be able to endure these uh, sufferings. Pero ang point ko lang, talagang we are called to endure. Okay? Do not run away from that truth. We are called to endure and we better learn to do it. Because, number three, sabi ko nga, maikli lang ito, there's a great blessing. Christians who endure are blessed. Oh, diba sabi, ng, sabi dito sa verse natin, ha? Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life. My reward kasi eh. My reward, if you will remain steadfast under trial, if you learn how to handle trial by the grace of God, by the strength of God, of course, kung ikaw lang, hindi mo kaya. I understand. I, I accept that. Hindi natin kaya kung tayo lang. But if we trust in the Lord, we pray to the Lord, we really believe His promises in His Word, Even if trials come, even if they're painful, even if they're trial, uh, even if they're heavy, we will be able to bear them by the strength and grace of God. Okay, and here's the reward. Sabi ni Jesus, I came that they might have life, abundant life. John chapter 10 verse 10 yan. This might be the crowd of life James is referring to. It doesn't simply refer to duration, eternal life with God someday. 
but a truly rich and meaningful life which begins now. Kahit ngayon, we can have that abundant life in the midst of trial. A truly rich and meaningful life which begins now full of challenges and consolations, peace and tribulations, joy and tears, both at the same time. Ito yung uniqueness ng Christian life eh, na in the midst of sorrow, you can rejoice. While you are enduring the trial, you are at the same time very joyful. Why? Ah, kasi, through that trial, kasi alam mo, Panginoon, very wise eh, through that trial, through it all, there is a deeper intimacy with Christ which is preparatory for a greater participation in His likeness when He returns someday. Medyo malalim po ito, no? Pero ang ibig lang sabihin nito, when we learn to endure suffering for the glory of God, and we draw closer to God, we will, more, we will more and more become closer to His heart because Jesus was someone who suffered deeply. Okay? And when, we, when He allows us to go through suffering, the more we understand what it means no, to be close to the heart of Jesus who suffered for us. Oh, Panginoon, ito pala yung dinanas mo rin na ikaw ay ininsulto, ikaw ay sinaktan, no? So in this in pero in spite of it all you became meek, you you were humble, you were patient through this suffering which you allowed in my life. I am becoming more like you. And that's what the Lord wants to happen to us. He wants us to become like him. That's why he allows us to go through sufferings and trials. And alam nyo po, this is This is the greater blessing. It's greater than comfort. To be like Jesus Christ, to have a changed and transformed character na hindi ka kayang talunin ng mga trials and sufferings mo because in spite of it all, you will cling to God? Aba, that is a far greater blessing than wealth or comfort. And that is, para sa akin, that is the real abundant life That is the real abundant life, to be close to Jesus and to learn to love Him more and more and to become like Him. Not to mention, not to mention, in passing lang ito, sasabihin ko lang ito, not to mention, becoming a greater blessing as a result of the maturity that steadfastness under trials brings. Hindi nyo po nahahalata that a person who has suffered can sympathize more with other people who are also suffering. Ulitin ko lang po. Have you not noticed that people who have suffered, Christians who have suffered, and they learn how to handle their suffering by God's grace, they can minister more to people who are also suffering. Why? They can relate. They can understand what that person is going through because they themselves have suffered. That's why, ultimately, that person, he is blessed. If he learns how really, to handle his suffering by the grace of God. So, finally, finally, we will end here. The verse ends by telling us that God promises the crown of life to those who love Him. This is the secret to enduring trials, love for God. It's our love for God that will keep us trusting Him and bearing up under the pain of trials. Kung talagang mahal mo ang Panginoon, kahit hindi mo naiintindihan ang nangyayari sa iyo, you will endure your suffering because you love God, you trust Him, and you know that He will not send that into your life unless He has a good purpose. And sabi nga ng Bible, I will close here, all things work together for good to those who love God. Oh, yun na naman. Those who love God and are called according to His purpose. He called us according to His purpose. Whether we understand it or not, and sometimes mahirap talagang tanggapin at mahirap isipin, no? He allowed that because He has a good purpose. He wants us to become closer to Him, to love Him more. At actually, kung isipin mo, tal- talagang dyan mat- mateteste. That is how you can prove that that person really loves God. It's easy to... F- It's easy to follow God when things are easy and comfortable. But what about when things are hard? Will you still love God, follow God, obey God? If you still follow and obey God in spite of the suffering, that means you truly love Him. And that is why I believe 
God allows suffering. And the person who learns to do that, to cling to God in spite of the pain, he is blessed. And when, when the Lord returns, he will say to you, you are someone who really loves me. You were steadfast under trial. You clung to me in spite of all the pain. You are blessed. The Lord himself is telling us, remain steadfast. You are blessed if you do that because you prove that you really love God. That is our devotional for today. Amen. 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 Wow, very short That's... but powerful. Amen. Uh -huh. You know, very short and pow powerful. Knowing that trials will come and go, you know, and will always be a part of our life, our earthly life, diba? So now we were able to practice, you know, what we learn, remain steadfast, unwavering, committed, loyal, mm -hmm. at sana apply natin yung nal nalalaman natin in our daily lives na we will be the salt and light to our own family, to our co-workers, to our friends, na makikita nila na we are emulating God and become, become more like Him. So, whoever wants to share their reflections, takeaways, 